Hello and good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lindsay and today I have a journal flip through for you today. I haven't been doing a whole lot of these lately, so I'm really excited to share this with you. These are ready to ship and in my shop. So if you enjoy videos like this, give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe. All right, so I needed some me time, some me crafting time, and I need to start de-stashing. I have piles of papers and ephemeras and things that are stacking up because they're leftovers from other projects and things like that. So I made a little journal uh, set here. It's not a set. They're going to be listed separately, but um, I can't wait to show you what I've done. I just loved it. It was really fun. So I'm going to start. These are used the same um, piece of wallpaper. That's what they are, wallpaper covers. And this is just a blank cover that you can fill. And um, look at this, just this gorgeous wallpaper. It's so, just feels so smooth and so nice. And then if you open it up on the inside, there's a piece of upholstery fabric that it has been lined with. There is a pocket, this is an Artie Maze from Artie Maze. It's just left over from when I was doing the sunflower journals. And so you can tuck something in there. There's a library card from Above Par Crafts. You definitely want to stock up on library cards from her shop. There is a coupon code below that you can use as well. And some cute little Tim Holtz boys. Um, and then the front has a half moon wallpaper pocket or like a half circle. And I've done some collaging. There's flowers, a little mini postcard, a little white rose clipped on here and this just comes off. This is a little bead dangle that my mother-in-law made for me. She's been making me bead dangles and I love going through the bag of them and picking them out. So this can come out and be used anywhere. And then tucked in there we have a little journal card. This is, I believe this is Victoria Designs. When they're left over in my scrap pile, it's hard to remember sometimes, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. That's printed on cardstock. There's a little ticket that says love and then a little Tim Holtz gentleman and you can take these out replace them with you know other things use them throughout the journal put a photo in the pocket whatever you want but the cover is ready for you so all you have to do is put together a signature and stitch it in it feels so plush this is I, I don't think the camera does justice to the texture of this and how plush it is it definitely adds, you know, it feels so good in your hand. So I'll have the actual dimensions of this in the Etsy listing, but this is the cover. And from that same sheet of wallpaper, I actually did a bigger journal and I have not done a bigger journal um, for a while. This is ready to ship. It has two signatures. I used Baker's twine to stitch them in. So it's wallpaper on the front and there's a different fabric on the inside. Here on the bottom, there is a butterfly label and Joanne made this she's from junk journal treasures you can click her link below um, I just added some stitching glued it on and then I left the label blank so you could write whatever phrase word there's enough room to actually write like an inspirational quote or whatever maybe 2019 if you want to use this journal for 2019 and there's a little bit of fabric and a little flower there this is what the back looks like look at that beautiful flower oh so gorgeous there's a piece of sari silk ribbon here from victorian gypsy girl this is her wild about prince collection that i keep talking about and that's just slipped through this um stitch here you can slip it right out if you want so let's get into this. There is a lot in here. Um, so here is the upholstery fabric. It is green and kind of goldish tan textured. It feels kind of like one of those really luxurious sofas. Super beautiful. There's a pocket. Joanne made this as well. And I just glued it in here as a tuck spot. Here is like a bridge um, score pad, the butterfly stamp on it. The first page is really special. My pen pal Mandy made this pocket page for me and I decided to include it in this journal. So there's this really cute little girl and her doll. It's a little pocket and I've put in some journal cards here. And then on this side, I added some cardstock so you could journal and a little butterfly sticker. I have some pages. This is from my postage due kit and you can check that out on my shop. 
and then there's stamping and there's fussy cutting and coffee dyed paper and like this says today I will there's graph paper this is really pretty it's a coffee dyed piece of cardstock that I got in some happy mail I added a fussy cut rose to the inside I've done some leaf stitching and then this is an actual ticket from the short line of Pennsylvania makes me think of Monopoly that's stitched on with some lace then over here there's one of my mother-in-law's little um, beaded safety pins there's some heart trim some journal space this is from my postage due kit as well I've been doing collage in this journal I thought it was kind of fun I've got some stenciling um, some vintage there's book pages and vintage encyclopedia pages and wallpaper and all sorts of different things. This is also from my postage due kit. I made a little bookmark and there's a little Tim Holtz piece of ephemera. There's a gold doily that you can use. And then a little embroidery card. I don't remember which shop it came from. It was stuck in my pile of stuff but I have some lace and then I clipped on one of my mother-in-law's safety pins so you can just take that lace off um, I think it's hot glued on the back so it doesn't fall off so you can just snip it and then use it in the journal if you'd like this is vintage 1950s encyclopedia paper that I've done some stamping and inking and then I've added that punch out down here to this book page this is Artie Mays and then here is like a tag flip with some sari silk at the top then some stamping and this is distress ink with coffee sprayed on it to give it kind of more of a watercolor effect this is for my postage due kit and then here's a pocket this is a tsunami rose um, I think it's rose note cards this was left over from the when I'm a cool mom did her junk trunk kit featuring this so I added some of those pages in here this was really fun I did some leaf stamping and then this was just from a piece of junk mail I cut out the window and then I put some scrapbook paper in there and then some sequins so it's a shaker a shaker bookmark stitch that here's a tuck spot and then this is just some really pretty iridescent paper clipped on with a little cut apart and a little homemade ticket some book pages from an ideals magazine this is one of my circle tag tuck spots and there's a little yellow rose in there some sari silk and a book page butterfly there's a doily behind it done some napkin decoupage and just a little bit of layering tsunami rose this is from the Etsy shop 12 papers I love this page and I backed it with some vintage children's book paper and made a bookmark this is from my postage due kit. I put rhinestones down this side. There's lace on this book page and another one of those beaded safety pins. Here's a little lace tab that has a button hanging from it. You can just take that off and add it wherever you want if it gets in your way. Clipped on here, there's just a few items. I made a journal card. A little coffee dyed tag and then a little die cut ticket from some wallpaper and then on this side there is a little envelope and a little flower some more collage There's wallpaper and cross stitch book pages and all sorts of stuff on here this is for my postage due kit this is an Avalon rose I have some journal cards here if I can get them out the paper clips like to stick on the stitching so here's just a book page um, flower and children's book here's some wallpaper backed with another children's book really pretty feels really luxurious I made a tag here with some scrapbook papers added some lace Here's a tab from Seneca Pond Craft, and then I made a little ledger paper ruffle. This is from my postage due kit. This is the other side of that pocket page that was at the beginning. And so I just tucked in a little tag and a little journal card that I made. And then Mandy 
collaged this, so I left that. It is beautiful. We're on to the second signature. And so it starts off with advice for travelers planning your trip. This is in like a Emily Post etiquette book page. This is from my postage do kit. Got some fussy cutting and some lace, some cut aparts and stickers, Tsunami Rose. And then this was really fun. I took, I have a big lined stamp that I got from Hobby Lobby, but I only stamped the top part of it and made like these little text boxes that you can put quotes or journal little thoughts and then some fussy cut flowers. This is from my postage do kit. This is a calico collage songbird. It's just ripped from one of her pages. And then in here there is another bridge score sheet and a vintage bird book page that you can use for collage. Here's a sticker and some inking. Some more stickers. Here's like a crocheted type butterfly. Butterfly sticker. This is vintage music paper. I think it's around 1930s. It's for organ. And then there's a envelope and a little journal card I made. This is a vintage um, like encyclopedia image that I cut out and then stitched on that card. Some wallpaper and a little Tim Holtz boy. Then we have little bits here. There's Victoria designs and then these are both Victoria designs and calico collage. Some stamping. I made a pocket. It says hopes and dreams. And then there's a big journal card here that says love. This little journal card you could cut apart and use as labels and that little label copy dyed tag some butterfly stitching and this flips up really pretty bird stamping spray staining here's a bookmark my mom gave me a bunch of these not a bunch but a few really pretty bookmarks this is a goldfinch i just added some blue ribbon to it Here's a whole bunch of like, you can color these little pages and write notes on them. And there's a tag I made here, double sided. And then there's a little safety pin hanging from the bottom, if you can see that. Little collages, a sticker. Here's a little booklet I made, just cardstock with a sticker, ink the edges added some coffee dyed paper for writing notes. There's a postcard. I don't remember. This might be Victoria Designs. It was in my scrap pile. Here's a big pocket to put things in. A little bird die cut. There's a calico collage journal card a Monopoly dollar bill and a little glassine bag that has a heart and a flower in it that you can use. Postage do kit. This is a like a Rolodex card see-through, I don't know, but I put in a little playing card that I stitched a flower onto. Tsunami Rose and then I did the stamping again with the flowers. Another big postcard. This is for my postage do kit. And then we come to the end and there's an Above Par Crafts library card. And there's a big fabric ruffle on the end and a little beaded safety pin. So there is a lot going on in this journal. I wish you could feel it. It's so luxurious. It's just like posh. But there's lots of room to write in it. I enjoyed making it so much. I put a ton of love into it and just worked on it and it just calmed me down. Loved it, enjoyed it, and I hope to share some of that with you. So both of these are in my shop. I'll see you all in the next video.